Hey guys, what is going on? Steven back again, and I'm here with another Assassin's Creed Origins video. This is covering some potentially new leaks on 4chan. Again, none of this stuff is confirmed, so take it all with a grain of salt. But, um, you know, I'm over here on Reddit right now, uh, where someone went over to 4chan and basically compiled everything that was supposedly said over there on 4chan. So, it basically says, take it with a grain of salt, of course. However, I think it's believable. Uh, remember, the first leak came from 4chan as well. There are many times real stuff gets leaked there. And uh, it says, you know, here's a, a link to uh, the thread if you want to check it out. Um, I will now try to summarize to the best of my abilities. Apparently, the leaks aren't accidents. Uh, they are controlled. Both pictures are real. The first one where the MC stood in front of something is very old. The second one is a picture from the demo we'll see at E3. So this picture right here, uh, which has been officially confirmed as actual footage from the game, <clears throat> uh, will be shown at E3. And apparently the other picture they are talking about, I believe, is this one right here, um, where he's standing in front of something. You know, there's the shield. Um, I believe this is the bow, I think. And I think this is his sword, I believe. Uh, apparently, this is a very old or a very early on picture of, um, you know, some of the work. But, um, yeah, apparently both of these pictures are real. Uh, you know, there's the shield, see? And right in here, you know, here's his shield. Um, there's his uh, quiver. There's his arrows. Here's his bow, I believe. I can't really see the sword from uh, this angle. But, um... Yeah, apparently both these pictures are real. Apparently there's a new scouting mechanic, the Eagle. The Eagle's placeholder name for now is Akom. Uh, there are no towers in the game. You'll be using your Eagle for side activities and points of interest. Uh, of course, there's a limit on how far away it can go from uh, the protagonist. The characters all speak English like in Unity. That's because of the Enemus 5.0, which has perfected any translation issues of the older version. Uh, of course, you'll be sitting in it. You'll not be moving around like in the movie. We have a new modern-day protagonist. He's male and mixed race, already a trained assassin, and has a new team that helps him achieve his task. Given by William himself, William, Rebecca, Sean all make appearances. Um, MD is more like Assassin's Creed 3's MD, with bigger areas and more character interaction. The MD does more to highlight the fact that Assassins and Templars still exist and are having a big impact on the world. Without giving too much away, a piece of Eden is used during the Exodus and the crossing of the Red Sea, playing into the whole over... over arching mission of the modern day protagonist not a main focus of the story though apparently he doesn't know exactly when the game is set but last he heard it was set between 1400 and 1200 bce it's set during the dynasties now apparently there is no naval combat in the game it's really only just a sailing boat used for travel purposes kind of like in the witcher 3 just with a little bit more customization he states numerous times that the world is breathtakingly beautiful and that there is an ambient stuff going on in the open seas. Uh, better to sail than to miss this stuff by fast traveling. You'll be traveling the eastern Mediterranean with your boat. Ambient music is in the game. Devs have focused on, devs have focused on story 100%. Apparently there is no multiplayer whatsoever. However, there are microtransactions like in uh, Black Flag and Rogue. Multiplayer is still on the cards and might return at some point to the franchise. Apparently, a lot of work went into the immersion aspect. Plenty of tropical areas, mirages, oasis areas, and various islands dotted around the sea are beautiful. The main protag uh, in the past is a quieter version of Altier, uh, basically. Uh, looks like him, slightly darker, not black, like Adi. I think I said that right. Uh, apparently a trilogy is planned, 
Greece comes next. Uh, Greece comes next, and he's in there. No idea about third entry at all. Uh, main protag past is apparently an Israelite. Combat has been reworked. Enemies have different attack patterns and will actively try to flank you. Kind of like Witcher 3, but easier to get into. Stealth is much more integrated into the world. You can hide on corners, in crowds, in buildings, and in bushes slash haystacks. Imagine Syndicate and Unity Stealth, but much more well thought out and implemented. Social stealth is emphasized a lot in the game. Uh, you'll be blending into crowds and with groups of slaves uh, an awful lot. Free running is the same as in Syndicate and Unity, though it adds some of the flair uh, from Watch Dogs 2. Uh, it has a lot smoother, um, it's a lot smoother and more fluid. Apparently, reason why Assassin's Creed doesn't make its way to Japan is apparently because the higher ups don't see it being successful. Uh, apparently, they made China for Chronicles to please the fans. Same thing for World War One and World War Two. Apparently, the engine is a re engine is a reworked version of Syndicates, but looks drastically different to Syndicate and Unity. They took Unity's backlash very, very badly. They've been working on Origins so much to avoid another buggy situation. Uh, Syndicate was about 60% complete when the backlash came to light. So Yubi shoved that one out the door before we had to break. Apparently no Switch version releases on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Coming out later this year. Um, Hidden Blade... Oops. Hidden Blade used in the game is a very early version, uh, requires losing a finger. There is also a bow, a shield, various swords, spears, and throwing knives. Our protagonist, Past, uh, doesn't have a name at the beginning. Later, other characters start calling him Shed. After the deity uh, that represents salvation, a big part of the story revolves around saving your people from slavery. Uh, the idea of an ancient Rome game was floating around the office. Caesar wasn't a Templar, but shared a lot of their ideologies. Uh, senators that killed him were part of the Brotherhood. Um, status of this idea is unknown. Uh, skills are done in a talent tree. However, the difference between the skill trees are dra drastically different, and you can only ever have a certain amount of skills active at one point. One tree is combat, another is stealth, and the final one is movement. Outfit-wise, there are few predetermined outfits, as there's been for every Assassin's Creed game. However, there are different pieces of equipment uh, that you can buy um, that will go over the top of your base appearance. Imagine Unity's equipment vari uh, variation slash customization with less pointless stuff. Character customization is more like Unity than Syndicate. Um, edit, I forgot to add this. Uh, sorry people, you can put your hood on and off whenever you want. Uh, Alright, that's it. I think a lot of stuff to sift through. What you think? So yeah, that is supposedly all the leaks that have come out. Again, none of this stuff is confirmed. Take this with, you know, however you want. Um, but yeah, that is, um, you know, all the information we have currently. Um, you know, E3 is less than a month away, so not too much long. Uh, not too much longer to wait but um you know i'll leave a link uh to the reddit post um in the description and there is a link in the reddit post to the 4chan post if you want to go over there and check that out as well but um yeah pretty interesting um you know no naval combat i mean that kind of stinks i mean that's kind of why black flag i believe is one of the best assassin's Creed games out there um, but yeah, it should be interesting. I uh, can't wait to hear more. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, 
you know leave me your comments down below uh, let me know what you think do you like some of these ideas do you hate some of these ideas do you wish there was naval combat do you not wish there was naval combat uh, what do you think about the car uh, customization uh, what do you think about the skill trees or talent trees whatever you want to call them uh, let me know what you guys think so if you guys like this video hit that thumbs up button that'd be awesome if you guys like the video or like the channel uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button I like to say thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers I really appreciate all the support uh, you can follow me on social media links will be in the description box below and I will be doing more gaming news as soon as there's more videos I mean as soon as there's more news um, yeah I'll be doing more gaming videos as soon as there's more gaming news uh, right now it's really been pretty quiet because I mean honestly E3 is you know what less than a month away so you know I'm sure a lot of the stuff is gonna be kept down low in the quiet so but once E3 comes around you know there's gonna be a a lot of new video game information there's gonna be a lot of new videos to do so but uh, yeah anyways um, stick around because there are more videos are on the way and I will see you guys next time